Hey all, for today's video, it will be a chat GPT cybersecurity video. More specifically, we will be asking chat GPT to write us a ransomware. Obviously, it won't be a full-blown ransomware, but definitely a working template that we can work on. Let's start right off the bat by asking chat GPT directly to write us a ransomware in C Sharp. Obviously, this is not going to happen. We get a rejection right away. Let's start off slow and ask for specifics, such as a program that will implement AES encryption for us in C Sharp. ChatGPT is happy to help us on that. A C Sharp code snippet is provided by ChatGPT as shown over here. Looking at the code, we can immediately spot a few red flags. For example, the key and IV will be randomly generated. This is not ideal. We want it to be hard-coded so that the decryption will work upon the next program execution. This is because every time the program executes, it will generate a new AES key and IV, and hence, the decryption will definitely not work on the previously encrypted files. Let's get ChatGPT to hard-code the key and IV. We can ask the chatbot to hard-code a passphrase and derive the AES key from it so that the key size will be appropriate. Awesome, this looks so much better. Although the sort is still random, but that is okay. We can just change it later by removing the RNG statement ourselves. Let's copy this code and give it a shot. Hopefully, it will compile and execute on our first try. Alright, the compilation seems okay. Let's try to execute it. Nice, it's looking good so far. Another potential problem we can see is that it is encrypting string. The decryption routine is also set to return the value of string. This will definitely cause problems once we switch over to file content encryption. Let's get the chatbot to improvise the code so that it will perform byte encryption and decryption. Okay, this looks good now. Let's give it a shot. Nice, the code is working fine. Our program is performing encryption and decryption with bytes now. Let's get the chatbot to further improvise our program. Instead of encrypting the sample byte value, we will change it to encrypt a file content. The program should take in a command line argument as input to perform the encryption on. This looks good. Let's copy and paste the new code in. We need to remember to remove the RNG statement for the sort so that the sort will not be random. Let's look through the code. This path.change extension looks a bit worrying. It might overwrite the original file. Let's not do that. Let's have the code to create a new file as the encrypted file instead. This should do the job. The code is also missing the decryption call in the main method. This is a small issue, so we can just manually add the decryption call ourselves. Let's output the decrypted content into a new file also, so that we can observe if the program is working fine or not. Alright, the compilation works. Let's create a sample text file first to test it out. Test.txt with Gemini security content in the file. Let's try and execute the program. We need to add a .txt extension so that we can open it up with Notepad. Okay, the encrypted one looks good. It is rubbish data in it. The decrypted one looks good as well. Nice, nice. Let's try to encrypt a file instead. Let's download a sample image and try it out.
Okay, this looks good. Let's change the extension so that we can use pin to open the images up. Pin is not able to open it as it should contain rubbish data that Pin is unable to pass. The decrypted cat image looks good as well. This is perfect. Nice. It appears that our experiment with asking ChatGPT to write us a c -sharp ransomware is a success. We were able to get a working template in under 10 minutes. That is pretty impressive. From here onwards, we can basically slowly prompt the chatbot to further improvise the program and make it into a full-blown ransomware. I am not going to demonstrate it here, but feel free to explore on your own. Alright, that is all to this video. I hope you all have enjoyed the content. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next video. Bye!